everyone, welcome to my channel, Ashley Equipped. My name is Ashley and I make videos about gun stuff. So if you're interested, please hit that subscribe button so you can see all my videos in the future. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I have a super, super exciting video planned for you guys today. I am going to be trying out holsters that are all under $10. So I have four holsters for you guys today that I'm going to be trying out and I'm supposed to have five but the fifth one hasn't shown up yet so we're going to see if maybe it shows up during this video and then we can tag it on to the end. So I thought I'd make it a little more interesting and do like a pass fail test with these holsters since they're all under $10 obviously I'm not expecting much out of them. I already know off the bat that I wouldn't trust any of these holsters to like take them out and actually start carrying with them. I have three standards that each holster needs to reach in order to pass my Ashley equipped test. Those three things are concealability, comfort, and safety. It has to hit all three of those by the judge of me to pass the Ashley equipped standardized test. Some people will take me seriously, so I have to preface this with, this is just a fun video that I'm doing. Um, obviously a lot more goes into choosing a holster and choosing a safe holster and a practical holster. Um, I'm aware of that, but for the sake of this video, I am dumbing it down to the bare minimum because these holsters are all under $10. I'm not going to be too hard on them. Um, again, I wouldn't trust any of these holsters to go out and like actually conceal carry with, but I thought it'd be a fun video, so we're gonna do this today. So the first holster is faux leather holster with um, kind of like a soft padding on the inside. That is what it looks like. So let's see what this holster is all about. So this is an inside the waistband for nine millimeter. I got this for $9.39. That's a steal. Um, and this only has six ratings, but it has four and a half stars. So. Not bad, not bad. It could be better, um, but it also could be worse. And I think we will see that in this video today. Let's go ahead and try this baby on. Now I have two firearms that I am going to be using to test these holsters out today. The first one is my Glock 43X. This is the smallest firearm I have, so that is what we're gonna be using today. If I need to be a little more gracious to these holsters, I'll probably get Drake's shield. Um, but for now, we're gonna start with the 43X. And if we're feeling ambitious, I have my 19, which is my EDC. So both of these have been cleared prior to starting this video. Let's go ahead and try on the first holster. So I chose to wear pretty much the easiest thing I thought I would be able to conceal in. So I have this waistline here and ruffles. Ruffles are very gracious for holsters. So let's see if we can conceal any of these um, holsters in my outfit and I'm wearing just regular jeans with the Meninjaro uh, EDC belt by I think V development if I'm correct so let's try this out clip is not bad quality I will say that it is not easy to get in it's on I think let's bring you guys a little lower Yeah, um, it's a little too small for the 19. It pokes out right there. So that's better. Um, I'm gonna kind of finagle it and give it the best chance possible. So that's the grip. Honestly, not terrible. I mean, I think there could be worse. I suppose it's high sweat guard, right? <laughs> if this pulls out. I have to undo the clip in order for it to come off, so that's a good thing, right? So let's see if it has proper trigger safety. I can get my fingers in the trigger guard. I would probably have to try really hard in order to pull the trigger, because there is a trigger safety on the Glock. As you positives of this holster is that it does cover the whole muzzle. You know I love a good holster that covers the muzzle. Um, bad is that it doesn't offer any proper trigger safety. Now this is the first holster. Let's go through our questions to see if it passes. Does it conceal? I would say no, it doesn't conceal. Um, it didn't conceal my 19 and it's still um, printed pretty badly with my 43X. So I would say nah, 
it doesn't conceal. Is it comfortable? I would say it is comfortable because it's a soft holster. Now most soft holsters are going to be comfortable. Now I'm assuming the leather will make you sweat after a while so that wouldn't be very comfortable. Um, but yeah, I would say it is comfortable. And then last, is it safe? I would say no, this isn't safe because I could reach my fingers inside the trigger guard. So I'm going to give this holster a thumbs down. It did not pass my three question standardized test. And moving on to the next holster. Now I'm going to need Drake's help with this one. Next holster is a Cree Trill ankle holster with padding for concealed carry with elastic secure strap, pistol concealment, um, extra padding for added comfort. Oh soft knit breathable elastic material now that's not too promising because you don't really want soft elastic to conceal your firearms so I got this one for $8.99 again what a steal um, and it says it fits the Glock 43 so that's what we will do this one has 1733 reviews and it has four stars that's honestly not too bad for almost 1800 reviews and four stars that's like some people are impressed with it. Some people are giving this five stars. So I guess we have high hopes for this one, um, but it is soft knit, breathable elastic. So I'm not too sure about that, but we are going to open it up. Um, let's try this on on my ankle. My ankle's too small for this. So we're gonna bring Drake in and we're gonna have him review this for you guys. Before I do that, let's go ahead and try to put my 43 in here. Pull the trigger. All right, let's go have Drake try it out. Okay, the real test. Is it Leo approved? Oh my gosh. What? Hey. Oh, oh. We already discovered that you can pull the trigger through the holster, so that's a thing. So I already told them that you use a holster sometimes on your ankle. This is a weird. So it's printing through two and sweatpants. This is the 43X though, so it's a little bigger than what he carries. And this is printing. So how would you draw? You'd have to do that already. Wow. I don't think that's safe. I think yours is harder material. I mean, the, the band itself is like comfortable, but it's just not well. So would it be comfortable to wear? Yeah, I think it's comfortable to wear. It's just not practical. Uh, I wouldn't wear this one. It doesn't seem very safe. If you start getting sweaty and stuff, this thing's it's just gonna, gonna fall down. slide down. Yeah. Is it comfortable? Comfortable, yes. Is it safe? No. And does it conceal? No. <laughs> Thumbs down. <laughs> Boo. Next holster. We are not on a roll, guys. We are, we are not doing very well. I will say that right now. All right, let's do a fun one. Let's do this one. So this is the Fly Fan Belly Band. I will say, I've never tried a belly band. I got the right-handed one. So this was $10.99. So we are right on the edge of that $10 and under, but we made it, we got there. Now this one has 92 reviews and it has four and a half stars, almost five stars. So people are liking this. There's some success stories with this one. So we're gonna give this a try, let's do it. Uh, it says it fits the Glock 19. So let's go ahead and try it out with my Glock 19. I feel like I have a waist trainer on. I'm not a fan, but we're gonna humor this. So let's put my 19 in there. Got a little strap that barely clips on. Okay, well, Glock 19, everybody. Does it conceal? Let's like take this off so it's a little more fair. Um, I still got some bumpage going on. And pull the trigger. All right, well, there's that. Let's try the 43, shall we? There's a reholstering safety issue because my hand's there, I'm flagging myself. I will say it's a tiny bit better, so the grip is right where my waist uh, tie is. Now, what I would do is find my valleys, so that's what we're doing here. That's the 43X. 
and she's not concealing very well. Move it so that the tie, the bow is like right there, but even then it's still printing. So, so is it comfortable? I would give it comfort um, because some people do like belly bands. It's not for me. Now, is it concealable? It didn't conceal my 43X and it certainly didn't conceal my 19. So I would say no, it's not concealable. Um, and is it safe? Let's see. This holster is not safe. So thumbs down, did not pass the Ashley equipped standardized test and we're on to the next. I already opened this up and put the metal clip on it. So it didn't come attached because it's ambidextrous. So, hey, the problem is this clip is all over the place. This one was $8.99. Now you guys are gonna be flabbergasted when I tell you this. It has 3,027 reviews, four and a half stars. That's a good holster if you ask me. Um, some stuff, obviously a lot of people are pleased with this. Um, and we're going to see what it's all about. I'm a little nervous. I don't know if any of these have passed. So, let's try this one out. I'm confused. All right, well, it's not really going on. Ah, look at that. Okay, so this one feels the best out of all of them um, because it sits a little more comfortably. Now let's holster my 43X. This is not bad. Put it in the center. Out of all of them, this one does the best job at concealing. That's for sure. It's really not bad. Well, that's not very good. Compared to all the other ones, I'll just cant it a little bit. And I have concerns about the clip, which we'll get to. So let's see if it conceals. I don't know if you can tell. It's hard for me to see on the camera, but I would say it conceals. I can see why people like this, I guess, for a cheap alternative to a holster. All right, now the clip, I'm going to draw and <laughs> we're gonna give it another try. Okay, so drawing. And it's so far down that it's kind of hard to get a good draw. Like the whole top half of the slide is disappeared. Is it comfortable? I would say it's comfortable, again, because it's a soft holster. Does it conceal? I would actually say it did conceal pretty well, at least my 43X. And then three, is it safe? This is a loaded question. I would say this is not safe only because it's a soft holster and I can still reach in that trigger. It doesn't protect the trigger as much as I really want it to for a holster, especially if I'm carrying it every day. So I would... I hate to keep bagging on the soft holsters. Some people really like the soft holsters, but I just don't think a soft holster provides enough trigger safety to be able to justify carrying it every single day. So, sorry guys, I gotta give it a thumbs down. So I just filmed the last holster and realized my camera wasn't ready, but my last holster just showed up. So I am so excited that it came. I already took it out of the package because I thought I was rolling. I got a thigh holster. It claims to fit the Glock 19 and the 43. So we're gonna try the Glock 19. If it's not working out, we will do the 43. So this is normally $15.99, a little more on the pricey side compared to the rest of these. Um, but I got it for about $10.99, I believe when I ordered it. It's on sale right now for $12.99. Here's what it looks like. Wow, that is not comfortable. So. It's like totally hitting my thigh. I don't know how people thigh carry. I would have to do it like this. I mean, I would be able to conceal. You can tell when I step. Now this is a really forgiving pattern for concealing, but yeah, I have a bulge on my thigh. <laughs> Let me get Drake's shield. What I would do is honestly wear it like this because I have um, wider thighs and it's just not gonna be comfortable to wear it on the inside of my legs, so I would wear it like this. I don't know if that's frowned upon, but I'd be able to do a draw. Thigh holster doesn't conceal. Um, in my own special way, I was able to conceal it, but in the way it normally does, I wouldn't be able to. It just would not be comfortable. I have thicker thighs, but I would say it did conceal. So yes, it did conceal. Is it comfortable? I would say it was pretty comfortable. Out of all of these, except for the last one, I would say this one is the most comfortable because I would just forget about it around my thigh. The sticky part made it stay up, so I didn't have to adjust it. But like most of these, it's a soft holster. I was able to pull the trigger and we don't want that. So thigh holster, thumbs down, did not pass. Um, and 
It is what it is. Cool. That was all the holsters. This was fun. Now I have five holsters that I don't know what to do with because I'm not going to use them. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see all my videos in the future. You would really, really be helping me out and I would really appreciate it. Thank so. you guys again and I will see you next time. Bye.